Hey guys, I hope everybody having a, a, a blessed day, a nice day. And um, I want to show you how I clean my jewelry and my uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Okay, so this is a, a Magna Sonic right there. And I'm going to show you how I clean my jewelry in this. I clean my jewelry two different ways. But I'm going to show you how I clean it in this uh, too. So I usually get a, a, a square piece of aluminum foil. And you see the basket in there. And I'll sit it down like so. Um, I get a cup of uh, hot water. I put it in the microwave for two, two and a half minutes. So two minutes and then 30 seconds, okay? And I'll just dump it in there like so. Okay. And then... Arm and Hammer baking soda. I know I opened the box up kind of ugly, but whatever, it don't matter. So, and I get like a teaspoon, or tablespoon, right there. Put that in there. Stir that up. Okay, hold on one second. Then I use uh, two different jewelry uh, concentrated, ultra concentrated jewelry cleaners. So this one is a Blitz uh, Gem and Jewelry Cleaner. It's concentrated. And then I use this right here. Let me see where I can turn it around at. Oh, oh okay, it's like that. So it says uh, a Sonic I S O N I C. Okay, no K. Jewelry and eyewear ultrasonic cleaning concentrate so I use two different ones I actually got this one for my uh, my glasses but I use this for my uh, jewelry my gold teeth and um, everything so I put uh, you could put one or two catfuls me I put two catfuls of each okay two catfuls of this and two catfuls of this okay then and I just drop my jewelry in there like so, okay, I'll drop my earrings in there, and I'll put my teeth in there, but I try not to have nothing up against my teeth, so it won't vibrate the diamonds too hard, you know, then i close it up. And I uh, cut it on. And then you have the option to select the settings. The settings. So I usually take mine all the way up to 480. Okay, and I'll let it cycle through 480. Then once it's shut off, I'll recycle it through 480 again. But it, it has th uh, three different cycles, I think. So, well, four, let's see, 90, 180, 280, 380. And 480 so it has all those uh, different cycles but I put mine on the highest and I just like uh, let it cycle through and then once it's shut off uh, I'll cycle it through again then I'll take it out and rinse it off okay I want to open this up so you can see it so far And I usually do this, guys, about um, once every week and a half, uh, week and a half or two weeks maybe, you know? Because I also do my jewelry cleaning cloth method, but I'll do this once uh, every week and a half or two weeks, you know? Okay, guys, it's ready, so I'm going to take it up, uh, and I wanted to let you know, too, you can, you can use gloves, because this stuff is ultra concentrated, and it'll make your hands feel like you dipped them in some bleach or some type of chemicals, but it's okay with me, but just so you all know, and if you got fake jewelry, I wouldn't advise you doing this, because it'll, it'll tarnish it. This is just uh, for the people who have the real jewelry, you know, um, so... You can just take up the whole basket, you know, this whole basket will lift out like this, like so, you know. 
Then bring it over here and rinse it. I'm gonna show y'all. I want you to see my jewelry. Uh, how it's clean. Uh, okay. So check this out. See it? I'm gonna let the light hit it. Okay, so I bring it over here. I just lay it on some paper towel. And the rest of it. Any type of way like that. Lay it right there. Check out the teeth. See that? See that, y'all? On the inside, if you want to see it, it takes all the tarnish away. You see it? It was clean. That right there. Uh, the other one. See on the bottom. See that? All the tarnish is out. So I can get it to zoom focus. And my earrings. See that? There you have it. This water off. So there you have it. It's clean, y'all. That's how I clean my jewelry in this ultrasonic cleaner. But like I said, I also use these uh, jewelry wipes. Well, I, I, I already made a video on these jewelry wipes, and you can get different jewelry uh, wipes too. So I got these kind, and I got this big old uh, 50 pack. I think it's a 50 pack or 75 pack. So, um, but I did a video on the jewelry wipes already. This is just how I clean mine with the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. And then the water do get dirty. I'm going to let you see the water too. Look. Look at that. Let me put the light on it. Y'all see it? So I just usually dump the water out uh, in the sink. And then once I dump it out, I rinse it out, dump it out again, rinse it out, and then wipe it out with paper towel and then put it back in this box. You can get this uh, ultrasonic... Um, cleaner off Amazon or eBay or just put it in online and buy it wherever you want um I think if I can remember I paid I paid $68.99 or something like that $70 with tax and stuff $70 um they do have some cheaper but me personally I wouldn't prefer the super cheap ones because you know if you pay super cheap then it won't do what it need to do but you see the results. And then I got my bracelet too. But I have a hard time um, putting it back on myself. So I'm just going to, um, I don't know. I'm just going to brush it, dip it in the cleaner, and then uh, brush it. But you can see the uh, the results, you know. So it's nice. And without the light. So you see it. It got it nice and clean. If you want some clean jewelry, that's how I keep my um clean y'all. That's how I clean my with the ultrasonic care. And uh that's pretty much it. So I hope this was helpful. But if you got fake jewelry, you wouldn't want to do this. Me personally, if I had fake jewelry, 
I think I would Google it, but I would try probably try to clean my fake jewelry with my with with these wipes. But don't blame me if you try to clean them with these wipes and it, it tarnish. That's just my opinion, though. You know, if I had fake jewelry, I'd probably try it with these wipes. You definitely don't want to try it with this ultrasonic cleaner and the jewelry cleaner because it will it will tarnish the uh, tarnish fake jewelry. You know, so there you have it. This is the video. I hope y'all have a blessed day. And once again, if you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your personal savior, do so before it's too late, y'all. You never know. Um, you never know when we might pass away, you know. So I hope y'all have a blessed day. And this is my video. Later, y'all. Bye.